So I kind of feel like I have a cold coming on, so I'm gonna start off this video with a shot, a healthy shot of ginger. I think you're supposed to shake this. Let's see if this does anything for my immune system. But I love ginger shots, but they're just so expensive. <laughs> Wow, that wakes you up. I'm ready to eat some junk food now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, I'm Anna. I'm a vegan living in London, originally from the US and Japan. And today I am doing a Whole Foods haul. A Whole Foods taste test, vegan taste test. I have a bunch of different things. They're all kind of random, but I tried to choose like local UK or London brands. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of chocolate based things because I, I love chocolate. Why don't we start with, let's just do this one since it's right in the front. This is Prodigy uh, Snacks Chocolate Digestives. I'm very excited to try this because I can never have the normal like cheap digestives because they are not vegan. But these are. And Prodigy is based in the UK. It says British brand designed in the UK. I still don't really know what a digestive is. Oh, it's like Japanese style, packaged in little packages. Okay, oh, oh, there's four. Okay, it's cute. Okay, let's try one. It's not bad. It says wholemeal biscuits half coated in chocolate. It's exactly how it's described. What I want to know from my British listeners, my British watchers, is are digestives like called digestives because they help you digest food? Or like why are they called digestives? I would like to know. I mean I could Google it, but <laughs> I'm lazy. Okay, let's try these guys next. They're from Brave. Dark chocolate crunchy chickpeas. I've had stuff from Brave before and I think their food is pretty good. But I've never seen these before. I never knew even knew that they sold these. And it sounds weird, dark chocolate crunchy crunchy chickpeas, but I assume it'll just be like sweet and salty and nice. These are good, these are addicting. Mm. It tastes like chocolate cereal. It tastes like, I don't know, childhood. Wow, that's pretty good. Sorry, I forgot to rate these. This one, I'll give like a six and a half. It's nothing like crazy. I mean, it just tastes like a chocolate covered biscuit, which fine, but it's not like, I would run to the store to get this, I feel. Although maybe I would, I don't know. Cause it's like a very like easy to reach for not too sweet kind of snack. So maybe I would buy it again, but I didn't feel like blown away. But this one, it's good. It really like, it's crunchy, sweet, but not too sweet. I would buy this for sure again. I'll give this a nine. Next up, let's do this brand. It's Gato Creams Protein Cookies. And I was researching them online a bit and it seems like it's part owned by like a French woman named Charlotte, but it's a British brand. Yeah, and there's 10 grams of protein and nine grams of fiber. And I, they kind of look like they're meant to be like Oreos, but maybe like a healthy version. I don't know, but they are salted caramel flavored. Ooh. Oh, so they're not quite like Oreos. Like the, the outer parts are kind of like oat cookies. And then you have a filling. Okay, let's try. Mmm, it's really not bad. It definitely tastes healthy, but not in like a horrible way. <laughs> like you can tell there's not like that much sugar. 
and it's healthy, it's like a healthy cookie, but it's good. But how much, okay. I wanna go over the prices too because these things were not cheap, okay? So the, the cookies were $2.29. So not cheap, but not horrible either. These guys were $2.99. So on the cheaper side, I guess. And then this was $2.09. I think these were on sale. Um, so yeah, compared to those two, this is pretty expensive. It's like two cookies and it's over two pounds, so. All right, next let's do another Prodigy product. This is the Prodigy Kahoot chocolate bar. Um, I don't think there's like, it's not promoted as like a healthy thing. I think this is literally just like a chocolate bar. Chocolate covered coconut bar, yeah. And this one was, $1.99. Mm. I feel like I've had something similar to this maybe last year. I don't know. I feel like there's a really similar product to this that I also tried in a taste test. It's like chocolate covered coconut bar. It's good. If you like coconut, you will like this. If you don't like coconut, don't buy this. I will give it an eight. Cause it's not quite like your average chocolate bar. Like it's not like, oh, I'm eating a Twix or I'm eating a Milky Way. It tastes like a vegan chocolate bar. <laughs> so it doesn't quite live up to your expectations or my expectations, but it still tastes really good. All right, next we'll go for a more healthy bar. The Ella's Deliciously Ella Roasted Almond Trail Mix Bar. I did not know that Ella made trail mix bars. I had no idea. And this tastes, I mean, this looks exactly like the kind bars, which are not vegan usually because they have honey, I think. But these have no honey. They have date syrup and different types of syrup. So, and this one was on sale. It was, let's see, one pound 19. So cheap compared to others. By the way, I'm loving Ella's new like range that I've been seeing in Weight Rose. I forget what it's called. Like Ella's like plant kitchen, not plant kitchen. Plant, Ella plant. I forget what it's called, but it's really good. I love these kinds of bars. I don't know. I just love the texture. As I expected, crunchy, chewy, sticky. <laughs> It's good. I'll give it a seven and a half. Let's do this sweet FA gluten-free oatmeal and raisin cookies. These were three pounds 49. Oh God, that's not cheap. But they're, they're from the Isle of Mole, I think. I think it's like a collaboration with this brand Island Bakery. Um, and they produce their stuff on the Isle of Mole. What is it called? Island of Mole? Yeah, Isle of Mole, and it's in Scotland. So, I guess it's like a Scottish company. They look very thick and sturdy. I'm scared to like break it because it's gonna like fly everywhere. Okay. It's not bad. It has a very strong cinnamon flavor. It's not very like indulgent though. You don't feel like you're eating a cookie. I mean, I guess this is what British people call a biscuit because it's not like soft, but it's not like, it's not like a dessert, you know? It's kind of like a weird aftertaste that reminds me of like, I don't know, like old houses, like, <laughs> like mustiness, I don't know. I'm really bad at describing things, but I don't know if I'd buy that one again. It might be the first kind of miss that we've had here. I will give the cookies, the Isle of Mold cookies, a five. Yeah. I saved the two that I'm most excited for for the last. Let's start with the Positively Naughty Chocolate Brownie from Positive Bakes. 
And yeah, it's also a UK based brand from Leicester. Leicester, I said that so American. Nesta. It's a pretty big brownie. Like it's a decent sized dessert. This one was um, $2.99. Look at how thick that is. It is ginormous. Smells like a proper brownie. That's good. Mm. It's a tad dry, but I really like the flavor. And it like, it has that proper brownie flavor, you know? I feel like brownies have like a particular chocolate flavor to them. I feel like ever since I left the US, I've gotten more into brownies. Maybe because like they're less common overseas. So when I do see them, I'm like, oh my God, a brownie because Brownies are more of like an American treat. I might be wrong, but I do feel like they're more common in the US. You know, in your childhood, you're always making like brownies from like those pre-made, um, what do you call it? Pre-made mixes. And it's like really common to just like, if you're, at, if you're at a sleepover, you and your friends will like make brownies and eat them throughout the night and then the morning. And then, yeah, it's like a childhood memory thing for me. Um, so yeah, when I see brownies, I'm like, oh my God, I need to try it. Last but not least, we have this. It is a Biscoff cinnamon bun. Can you believe it? It kind of got destroyed in my backpack, but it's a vegan cinnamon, cinnamon bun, Lotus Biscoff flavor by House of Sin. Don't know this brand either, but apparently it's brand, <laughs> obviously. Um, I think, I don't know where exactly they're based, but they're definitely a UK brand. Wow. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. I guess I'll just bite into it. <laughs> Whoa. That is so rich, but so good. Whoa. I really like it. 10 out of 10. I'm so glad I finished on this. That was so good. This one was not cheap, if I recall. It was... Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, why can I never find it? It always takes me forever. Um, okay, 4 dollars yeah. It was almost five pounds. That is not cheap. Okay, so this is the carnage. All these opened packages. Thank you guys for watching this taste test. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my nasaliness didn't distract too much. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Help this little channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.